with Doctor Strange's Tier 4 potentially right around the corner. The question is, for some, is how strong is he today at Tier 3? So I'm just going to show you him in ABX during burn season when he can't actually cancel. You actually have to do a swap cancel. So I'm going to be using Doctor Strange with Human Torch. Let's see what I can do. All right, so Doctor Strange's big thing is five. You wait for that to pop, four, two, one, three, and that's where you want your procs. Now, the key with Doctor Strange is to auto attack. Keep auto attacking, four, two, one, three again for the proc, and then keep auto attacking. Now, you should have your six. Let six pop, and then five, let that pop, four, two, one, three. And again, go back into the auto attacks. That auto attacks is really what spikes this particular uniform's damage, in my opinion, and without it, you're not going to score as much as you could. Now, this time, I'm not actually going to pop his six, because I want to do the rest of his move. Now, when there's four seconds left on his four cooldown, it will be cooldown enough that if you do pop his six, you can go right back in the rotation when there's four seconds left. So I'm going to do a nice quick right here, and then I'm going to swap to Human Torch. Now, with Human Torch, as you know, it's three, six, five pop the fire, and then four. You're going to have the chance to do two full rotations with procs. Two, one is fillers. And then you're going to do a three, five, pop, and then four. And then you're going to switch right back to strange. Now, five, four, two, one, three. There's four seconds left, so I'm going to go into the six. Let the six pop. Four, two, one, three. Rinse and repeat. And you'll see those procs usually line up pretty nicely. Again, we're going to wait until, well, he's going to roar here. Right around 26, he's going to roar. So we're going to hang on to his moves here, and we're going to quick cancel them. Go to Human Torch. Again, 3, 6, 5, pop, and 4. When I say pop, I mean one of the big animations pop. With the 5 here, you're waiting for that tornado. With Doctor Strange's 5, you're waiting for the big beam. Or if you're using a 6, like why? Oh, I canceled the 4 for some reason. So 6, you're waiting for that right there when his arms spread out and the images appear. Here, you're waiting for the bubble on 5. And then, yeah. Oh, that was a delayed proc there. This is what happens when you talk while trying to do a rotation. You can get distracted fairly easily. That's all right. We can still work with this. I'm going to pop the 5 here. 4, 2, 1, 3. I am going to save his 6. Now, you can technically still get a buff if you use a 6 right away. But what I would like to do is uh, let the whole thing play out preferably. So this is going to be much lower than probably what I could score if I was paying a little bit better attention. If you turn that on to graphics, uh, sometimes it'll help with your rotations, especially in ABL. Um, ABX2, you'll see a little bit of a difference. So If you do not swap with Doctor Strange and you're actually able to cancel with him, he can do a sizable amount more damage. But again, you know, we're, we're just checking him out at Tier 3, seeing what he can do. Alright, yeah, my procs are all messed up for the end here. And now I will do an instant cancel on 6. Doesn't matter, I ran out of time. 9.8 million for a Tier 3 character. Not awful, by any means. I probably, uh, I could probably hit 10, maybe. But I don't think I'm going to break 10. Not far, not far past 10. Uh, so right around 9.8 to 10 million seems to be pretty consistent with what I've done historically. And again, this is with swap cancel. If you don't swap cancel or if you try to brute force past it and you have a double support, I tend to notice you score a little bit less, or at least I do. You might be curious how I can score so much with a tier 3 character. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're like, not even worth using. You're right. Uh, Doctor Strange right now is mostly for world boss legendary a lot of people do not use him in abx or abl and when he gets his tier 4 he might also not be meta for blast mail day on abx he might be usable in abl we don't know yet we're going to find out <clears throat> but i will at least show you my cards my x swords feel free to pause if you want to read over what they do and then for Doctor Strange, like I mentioned, I was using his own leadership because he has a self-buff, which is, I think, awesome. And the way that I have him built right now, he's ranked 10. He's ranked 10 in Marvel Future Fight. He's my favorite character. I put the most effort into him out of all of the characters I have. 
I've done everything I can to max him out whenever he comes out. All of his uniforms are mythic, all un mythic uniform options. I have two completely maxed out sets. I had Hawkeyes and I eventually reworked him until I got Overdrive. Uh, he does has his artifact. This is the thing that's keeping me from being a higher rank. If I could get his artifact, which already has a type match, to a six star artifact, I think I would be much higher ranked. And I do have a brilliant rage on him. I have had this on him as, as it was the first brilliant rage I got. And again, with Doctor Strange being my favorite character, I even took all of his uniform options on every uniform and made those mythic as well, regardless of what those were. Just because he's my favorite character in Marvel. He always has been. I've been reading his comics since the 80s. So, yeah, huge fan. Huge fan. All right. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much about it. I do have a insight on Coulson, which a lot of people do not recommend because he's not using ABX or ABL. But... After all this time of waiting and saving, uh, I finally finally have an excuse to have Coulson with an insight because it is very, very possible that Doc Strange's Tier 4 might make him meta for ABX. I do have a feeling with, uh, I don't know if it's tonight or not. I believe it's tonight. Tonight we should be getting Cable, and there's a very good chance Cable's going to be the new meta. He might be able to do a little bit more than other options like Star-Lord. So, anyway... Best of luck to you. Hopefully that was fun to watch. Uh, let's see how he does when his uh, new uniform comes out and his Tier 4. A lot of people have been theorizing because of the new custom icon that you can have for your profile and the new card set that's coming out with the cable release. There's a very good chance he might be getting a Tier 4. So I don't know if your Doctor Strange is ready, but if he's not, you might consider getting him ready. Definitely a great character. Thanks for watching.